A story now about wind farms and wind turbines are popping up all over Bee County. And today, a Bee County commissioner raised some concerns, saying it's important for landowners to know what they're getting into before allowing wind turbines on their property. Our Marissa Cummings has the details. Behind me, you can see the beginnings of just one of the wind farms in Bee County. Commissioner Dennis DeWitt is over Precinct 2. He says he's had landowners in his area approached by companies to use their property and place turbines on it. That's what compelled him to learn more about what exactly that entails. Some of what DeWitt found is that most companies want residents to sign a 40-year lease on their land. The property owner will get paid $80 for every acre the turbine covers, and even if the turbine is no longer in use, the landowner has to pay taxes on it. DeWitt is not only a commissioner, but only land in Bee County. He says he doesn't want a turbine on his property. I want to protect the birds, the critters, the serenity, the quiet. As a county commissioner, if you as a landowner wants this, I don't think it's my right to say no, you shouldn't do it. DeWitt says from an earlier survey asking 34 residents if they want wind farms on their property, 28 of them said no. The commissioner says there's another wind farm in the works and construction should begin on that one in the next 30 days. Reporting, Marissa Cummings, 3 News. Okay, thank you, Marissa.